so hello everyone so in the last two sessions we have uh, discussed with the two videos of uh, module 1 and module 2 model question paper solutions of uh, microcontroller for both the set 1 and set 2 so module by module we are covering so this is the third video of this uh, model question paper solutions to be a session so this is now we are going to discuss module 3 solutions yeah so the first question is 5a explain more two operations of timers and explain and explain steps involved in programming timer in mode 2 okay so this carries eight marks so we need to be writing about timer mode 2 okay uh, timer mode 2 auto reload uh, or this is called as auto reload mode in general so this is an 8 bit counter or a timer operation counting is performed in a tlx while thx stores a constant value so all the counting would be take, taking place in the tlx bit and while the THX would be storing the constant value. So in this mode, when the timer overflow, TLX becomes uh, equal to FFH. It is fed with the value stored in THX. Okay. So whenever the timer overflows, the value of TLX becomes the largest value. That is uh, of when any 8-bit register, largest value is FFH. Okay. And it is fed with the value stored in THX. Okay. So since the THX is a constant value. For example, if you load THX with 50H, then the timer in mode 2 will count the values from 50H to FFH okay this is one in general we have given an example so this mode is uh, useful in applications like fixed time sampling okay so this is the application of this mode and this is one simple block diagram of that uh, mode 2 operation here okay as you can see okay operation of timer in mode 2 okay so this is if you want uh, a timer in mode 3 okay but just not asking the question so you can skip this part now you can give the example uh, what to say a brief description of this mode 2 okay that is load the tmod value register indicating timer 0 or 1 is to be used for select timer mode 2. The load th register with the initial count value as it is an 8-bit timer the valid range is from 0 to FFH okay. The range of any, any 8-bit register is from 0, 0 to FFH. Start the timer by giving timer run TR and keep monitoring the timer flags TF, uh, TF and uh, TF flag that is timer overflow flags. Then the, yeah these are the steps required. Then so, this is the simple uh, example you can note it down. So yeah, let's go to the next question that is analyze the structure of a T mod register. Okay. So again, this T mod register this is a very important question and it carries eight marks. Okay. So T mod register is an eight bit register in general. Okay. Both timers zero and timer one used in the same register, which is called as T mod. And this T mod is mentioned as timer mode. Okay. To set the various timer operation mode. So T mod is an eight bit register. The lower four bits are for timer zero here. See, these are the lower four bits. And this is for timer 0 and the upper 4 bits are for timer 1. So in each case, the lower 2 bits are used to select the timer mode and the upper 2 bits are used to specify the operation. Okay. Yeah. So these are not all the pins, uh, what to say, inside these two timers that is gate C slash T bar. Okay. C slash T bar count stands for timer or counter selector. So whenever the value of C is equal to 1, counter is selected or whenever the value of T bar is equal to 0, timer is selected. And M1 and M0 M0 are called as mode selector bits. Okay, so these are the main uh, uh, mode selector bits in which it decides the which mode is being selected in the operating range. Okay, so whenever the value of M1 M0 is 0 0 in case of any timer, which is timer 0 or timer 1, uh, if it is 0 0 operating mode 0, that is mode 0, then uh, mode 0 is called as 13 bit timer. 0 1, then mode 1 is selected, and mode 1 is called a 16 bit or timer or counter. 1 0 is called as mode 2 is selected and mode 2 is called as 8 bit auto reload timer or counter then if 1 1 then mode 3 is selected and uh, mode 3 is called as 8 bit timer okay so these are all the operating modes of m1 and m0 mode selector bits okay for different modes that is mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 so this is all about t mode register you can pause the video and refer it so the next question is 5c explain rs232 standard and 9 pin db connector Okay, so it carries four marks. It's a simple theory question. RS232 standards, uh, you need to be writing its uh, definition. That is, uh, it's an interfacing standard called as RS232, was set by Electronics uh, Industries Association EIA in 1960. Okay, since the standard was set long before the advent of logic family, its input and output voltage level levels are not TTL compatible. Okay, in RS232, logic 1 is represented from minus 3 to minus 25 volt. Similarly, uh, logic 0 is represented from plus 3 to plus 25 volt and it is referred as space. Okay, for this reason, uh, to connect any RS232 to a microcontroller system, we must use voltage converters such as uh, MAX232. Okay, 
in order to uh, to connect any rs232 to a microcontroller we need to be using the voltage converters okay in this case it is max 232 okay to convert ttl logic to rs232 voltage level logic or vice versa okay so in this rs232 standard we use two types of connectors mainly there are db9 and db25 connectors so this is one simple block of uh, db9 connector it consists of nine pins here like this the upper row is consists of five and pins and the uh, lower row is consisting of four pins and these are the pinout description all for all the nine pins you can note it down see this table here so similarly this is the db25 male collector okay so this is one typical pin where the upper row consists of 13 bits and lower row consists of 12 bits in totally 25 bits so yeah this was all about rs232 standards you can note it down so the next question is uh, write a c program to transfer yes serially at 9600 baud rate and 8 bit data one stop bit okay and do this continuously so here in this case uh, this is not a c program this is a simple assembly level program alp program okay so a c program i have not got it for you all so you can refer this alp code here okay so in order to do this continuously we need to be using the statement called a short jump sjmp right so that uh, the loop would be continuously happening so that's why the continuous process would be taking here so c program we are going to provide it in a short while for you all okay so next question is analyze the structure of tcon register okay tcon or timer control register it again consists of 8 bits okay these are the 8 bits here tf1 tr1 tf0 tr0 ie1 it1 ie0 it0 so this should be written in the same order we cannot exchange it and write it in uh, uh, whatever wish you want okay so tf1 or tf0 is are called as timer 1 overflow flags or timer 0 overflow flags tr1 and tr0 are called as timer run flags ie1 and ie0 are called as uh, external interrupt flags IE, uh, IT1 and IT0 are called as interrupt type flags. Okay, so these are the brief description of this. You can note it down. Okay, so next question is explain full duplex, half duplex, and simplex mode in serial communication. Okay, so again, this is a very important question. First, simplex communication. In this simplex communication, the transmitter transmitter sends the data and receiver receives the data. Okay, so from transmitter would be sending the data and receiver would be receiving the data in case of simplex communication. Half duplex communication data is transmitted only in one direction at a time. Either transmitter would be sending the data or either receiver would be sending the data. Data is transmitted only in one direction. Okay, sending, sending and receiving won't be taken simultaneously in case of half duplex communication mode. Okay. Similarly, for full duplex communication, the data is transmission is, uh, is transmitted in both ways at the same time. Okay. For example, if transmitter is a uh, Sending the data, receiver would be receiving the data at the same time if receiver would be sending the data, transmitter would be receiving the data. Okay, This is full duplex communication. So this was the uh, answer for this uh, question. So that's all. So this was the answers for all the model question paper set 1. Similarly for set 2 we are going to discuss now for module 3. So this is the next question from module paper 2. Let's explain the bit contents of TCON and TMOD registers. So these two questions we have discussed in the set one only. So again, once again, I'm just uh, displaying it to you all. T mod register is an eight bit register. Okay, up four bits are used for timer zero, and this four bits are used for timer one. Okay, lower four bits for timer zero, and upper four bits for timer one. Okay, it consists of gate C slash T bar M one M zero, where M one M zero are called as mode selector bits, and these mode selector bits are useful to uh, see whether which mode is selected mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 or mode 3 mode 0 is called as 13 bit timer mode 1 is 16 bit timer or counter mode 2 is 8 bit auto reload mode 3 is 8 bit timer okay so this is the tcon register again it again consists of 8 bits tf1 tr1 tf0 tr0 ie1 it1 ie0 it0 this order should be remaining as it is we should not be changing this order okay the tf1 tf0 is called as timer overflow flags TR1, TR0 is called as timer run flags. IE1, IE0 are called as external interrupt, external interrupt flags. IE, IT1 and IT0 are called as interrupt type. Okay. So this is the question you can refer it down. So the next question is write an assembly language program to transfer multibyte data serially with 9600 baud rate. Okay. Uh, transfer yes. Multibyte means for example more than a single. Uh, byte okay so in this case transfer yes this is a multi-byte data set because one single letter consists of eight eight bits okay eight bits is equal to one byte so multiplied my bits more than one byte so here this is we are taking one simple word yes okay this is a multi-byte okay at a 9600 baud rate 
8 bit data one stop it and we, we need to do this continuously okay so continuously is not mentioned in the question but we have provided to you all so this is the simple code assembly language code for that you can refer it down okay so now the next question is explain how timers are programmed in mode 1 okay so yeah timer mode 1 timer mode 1 is similar to mode 0 except for the fact that timer operates at 16 bit mode okay so this is one simple difference in timer mode 1 so TLX 8 bits lower, THX, uh, THX 8 bits like this, the data is transmitted serially in this order. Okay, finally it's going to the interrupt timer and it is uh, executed in the mode 1. So these are the components and process that is input pulse, TLX 8 bits lower, TLX 8 bits, THX 8 bits, TFX, okay. TFX block is called as timer uh, overflow block and interrupt, okay. These are the explanation for that, you can note it down, pause the video and refer it. So the next question is explain the bit pattern of SCON register with the diagram. So yeah, SCON register, it's again an 8-bit register, okay. It consists of SM0, SM1, SM2, REN, TB8, RB8, TI, RI, where SM0 and SM1 are called as serial, serial mode specifier. SM2 is called as a multiprocessor communication serial mode specifier only. REN is called as a, a set cleared by software to enable or disable any reception which is taking place. TB8 and RB8 are called as not widely used but they are called as a, a transmit bit flag or receive bit flag. TI and RI are called as transmit interrupt and receive interrupt. Okay. It, it, it basically uh, starts and stops the program. Okay. So these are this is the main bit, bit content of this uh, uh, SCON register. And these are the uh, simple definitions of SM0, SM1 that is a serial mode 0. Uh, SM0, SM1 if it is 0, 0, serial mode 0. If it is 0, 1, serial mode 1 is selected, 1, 0, serial mode 2 and 1, 1, serial mode 3. Okay. SM2, this enables the multiprocessing capability of 8051. REN, receive enable. TI and RI are transmit interrupt and receive interrupt. Okay. So, yeah. So, you can, this is the simple uh, answer for this. You can note it down. So, the next question is, assuming uh, XTAL frequency or crystal frequency as 11.0592 MHz, write a program to generate 4 kilohertz square wave on port 2.1. Use timer 0, mode 1, this is mode 1, okay, this is not model, this is mode 1, to show all the calculations, okay. So, yeah, this is the code for that. First, we need to be calculating the delay, okay. The delay, uh, from the delay, uh, is uh, we need to be calculating the value of count. So, whatever the count value is there, convert it into hexadecimal, okay. So, this is one 16-bit uh, uh, data here. In this uh, T, uh, TH0 and TL0, we are going to separate it, that is TH0 where FF would be stored, higher bits would be stored. In TL0, the lower bits would be stored, that is uh, 8D, okay. Then after that, this is the simple uh, assembly level program for that, you can note it down. So this is the simple assembly level code for this, you can note it down and uh, let's see the next question. Explain RS-232 in serial communication using 8051 microcontroller, okay. So this is again RS-232, we have discussed it. Same thing, okay, these are all the theory part. And these are the two connectors which are used in RS-232 model or MAX-232 IC chips. There are DB9 and DB25. So this is for DB9 and all the 9 pins, uh, all the description for the 9 pins. Okay. Similarly for DB25, this is the diagram. Yeah, so that's all for this module. So these were the important questions and model paper solutions for module 3. So now let's discuss module 4 in the next uh, upcoming session okay so please like share subscribe those who have not watched the previous videos of module 1 and module 2 model paper solutions you can refer it down it's available in our playlist it might be appearing now on the right of your screen so please refer them and uh, support us guys thank you